Today, I'm going to show you how you can make a fully functional line simulator game like the trending game Bathroom Line Simulator. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start by creating a new experience in Roblox Studios. Now we need to enable Studio access to API services and to do that we need to publish the game to Roblox which is right here or save it. I'm just going to publish it to a old game that I had that I deleted so I'll just override it. But yeah, you guys can just publish it like normal, how you publish any other game. Now in game settings, and then in security, there is studio access to ABI services, and this will be off, but you want to enable it, and then click save. Okay, so now we want to insert the line simulator model. So let's insert it here from our toolbox, the link's in the description. Now I'm just gonna move it into a good spot, but I think that should be, yeah, that should be good. Okay, I'm just gonna delete the spawn location as well, make sure you do that, it's very important. Now in here, we've got all these different models, and we want to drag them to the corresponding category, and then ungrouping them. So like this, and then control U to ungroup, move it in. And you can also right click and then press on group or control U. And last one, which is sound service and on group. Okay, now we can delete the folder. All right, now we need to config our game. So in replicated storage config, we've got all the different configurations. Starting with creator ID, we need to set its value to the user ID of the creator of the game, which is probably you, so yes, set that to your own user ID. Next, in currency name, we need to just set this to whatever you want to call your currency, so yep, it's pretty simple, and yeah, just set that to whatever you want to call your currency. Then, for group ID, set this to your Roblox group ID, if you have a group, if not, just leave it blank or as this, doesn't really matter. Okay, now in animations list, you want to set this to your custom animations if you have some. If you don't have a custom animation, just leave it as is. These both work perfectly fine, but if you want to make your own, set them here. So that's obviously the shove animation that plays when you shove a player, and that's what plays when you get to the end, which is over here. Okay, and now in currency list down here, you see we've got a minimum and maximum value, which is what you would have to pay on placement 1, and this is what you have to pay on placement 50. So that's 50, that's 1. And then using this, it will just work out all in between. So yeah, whatever you want them to have to pay there to cut in line here, you set it there, and whatever you want them to have to pay to cut line from there, you set it to there, but I recommend you leave this as it is because it's just nice amounts. Same goes for this currency ratio, which basically means how much of whatever this is they get per second. So let's say it costs like maybe 20 to cut in line. That means per second they will get $1. So yeah, with this, it means after 20 seconds they'll have enough money to cut in line. Okay, now lastly, we have got our products list, which has all our developer products and our game passes. So just set this to the Roblox ID of your developer products, all of these, and then the ones that say game pass here, make sure it's a game pass, and then set that to the ID of your game pass. All the Roblox amounts are here, make sure you set them to these Roblox amounts, don't change them, or it might break. Okay, now you might see this little character over here. Now this is actually the VIP character that promotes VIP and we also need to set that up to be your own avatar or whatever avatar you want. So VIP, VIP loader, you see we've got user ID. Now this is set to mine but I recommend you set it to yours or whatever you want and I'll just load that player's character there to be the VIP person. Now lastly in setting it up we want to head over to sound service 
over here. Now you see we've got all the sounds for click, fire alarm, select. Now if you want to replace them, just replace the sound ID here like any normal sound. Then in music, we've got all the music that will play in a playlist kind of format. So if you want to, you just add some new music in here, so sound, and then set the sound ID to your sound and then make sure in routing you want to set the sound group to the music sound group if you don't know that it won't work or you could just leave it with this music here which i think is quite nice and with all that being said i think we're ready for a test okay so i've just started a two-player local server here for us to test it out and i'll just go over the main parts of the game since there's a lot but we can't include this all in this one video so starting off with these daily rewards right here they just pop up every day and you can claim your own thing so I'll just close it right there which just claim me that one free cup now we've also got this gift button down here which is basically some playtime yeah I just got made it to the end there but anyway if we press gifts and see we've got playtime rewards so every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, you can get a reward, and yeah, I'll just press close there. Okay, and now there is a cut in line feature I need to show you guys, so I'll just head back to line, and I'll just use Robux, but you can also use money. So I'll just cut in line here. As you can see, I just took their spot, and now move back, the game's a bit laggy, because I'm running two clients right now, but it's fine. It works perfectly well in um, Roblox. Okay, there's also a step back button. So if I press on more, and then I can press step back, and you see we swap positions, and that doesn't cost anything. There's also a shove button right here, but I can't use that in a two-player Server it needs to be at least three players because basically it swaps the player in front of you with the player in front of the player in front of you. Yeah, and it swaps them around. And there is also these leaderboards over here. But right now they're blank since this is a, bl a brand new game we just made. So there's no data yet. And also it doesn't save data in test servers like this but yeah if you're in a real server and some players have played it there will be all data here the robux they spent the time at end and the level so yeah they're all leaderboards um now there's also upgrades now every time you make it to the end you get an upgrade point and you can use them to increase stuff like multi all these other stuff here that unlock that your level so it's at level two level three yeah, i'll just quickly test it out here so you see i'm at 50 percent for 50 dollars per second sorry and then when i press it i'm now whoop just made it to the end there i'll just quickly move back and yeah you can now see i'm at 52.5k per second so yeah also at the end there's a VIP advertiser I guess you could say, you can see it more over here, just quickly close that daily awards, but yeah, and you can buy here using the purchase VIP prompt. There's also all the game passes here, like troll, everyone to the end, run to the end, fire alarm, double cash, um, music muting, inviting friends, auto cut. So yeah, they all work. Um, there's also a free two upgrade points for all group players. These are obviously like test players. They're not even my main account. So obviously I didn't get two free points, but yeah. And yeah, now we've just briefly touched on everything this model has to offer since I don't want the testing part of this video to be too long. But if you do want to see everything that is added, then check out the other parts before this video. You'll also see the progression of what it took me to get up here and it helps me out as well as subscribing. So go quickly subscribe now for all my efforts.
Anyway, thank you so, so much if you made it here to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you're new, like the video if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.